Obama under pressure to diminish the CIA. Earlier today, CIA Chief John Brennan said this. The study's contention that we repeatedly and intentionally misled the public and the rest of the U.S. government rests on the committee's view that detainees subjected to EITs did not produce useful intelligence, a point on which we still fundamentally disagree. I was now in the studio, Andrew Tantaris, co-host of Outnumbered, seen at noon on the Fox News Channel, and from Washington, Janice Fuentes, Democratic strategist. So, Janice, I've talked to, as um, I mentioned to Henry, uh, mm -hmm. a bunch of former CIA chiefs. I've talked to the vice president. I've talked to the president, uh, former President Bush. Um, I talked to pretty much everybody I could talk to. And they all say we got actionable intelligence from Khalid Sheikh Mohammed in particular that led to the courier for bin Laden, uh, that led to bin Laden's compound, that led to bin Laden's debt. They're all, I believe them. I believe them. So that just throws out the contention that waterboarding and other harsh methods never lead to actionable intelligence. So that's not true. Would you, are you with me so far? Are you with me so far? Go on. Are you with me? Do you agree with me so far? I agree that these are agonizing choices. And I agree that we all have respect and that for the dedication of the people in the CIA. And I understand the dilemma okay. that people like. But, but and and fighting either, terrorism believe, is not easy. You either believe Bush, Cheney, and all the other CIA chiefs, including the present one, Brennan, under Obama. You believe them or you don't. I assume you do because a rational person would have to believe all of those men. Then the question becomes this. Okay, we don't want to be a nation of lawbreakers. We don't want to be a nation of torturers. All of this has unintended consequences that are negative. It's true. Okay. But in certain situations, like your daughter or son, Janice, being held and could be beheaded at any moment. Sometimes you have to take th uh, actions that aren't strictly lawful. I believe that's true. Am I wrong? I think that torture is wrong. Even in the case of your son or daughter it would be killed almost momentarily and you've got somebody who knows where they are, you wouldn't, you wouldn't employ, you wouldn't do anything like that. Nothing out of the ordinary. Laws exist for a reason. And I think that we have, we, if the terrorists I'm are going to play I'm dirty. Look, I respect your theory, but I'm going to say, if I'm your son or daughter, my head's gone. You, I'm sure, <laughs> There is no guarantee, no, there's Mr. No guarantee. Riley, that torturing that person is going to bring my son or daughter back. But, uh, but, even McCain, Senator McCain even has said And we're going to talk to him right behind you. I know. We're going to talk to you even right behind you. he has you. said but, that but, these but, techniques are wrong. If you are a mom or a dad and you have children who may be killed, you do everything possible. That's what I'm right. saying. Go ahead. Right. And Ms. Flint has just said laws are there for a reason. I'm assuming she doesn't agree when it comes to immigration, but that's a different topic. D look, don't that's petty five issues. I'm just saying it's, it's the cognitive dissonance of the left. No, well, the president said we're a nation of laws, and we are talking about, Bill, how the president is handling this. But he believes what he did is lawful, so let's keep it on this. Right. Okay, and so does his DOJ. His DOJ believes that this is lawful. As you point out, four CIA directors believe this is lawful. Bill, this is all politics. It's base ginning. And let's move it forward. So if the left wants him to do something about it, does President Obama then have the political stomach to prosecute people at the CIA no. for what he believes to be? No, exactly. You know why? Because then it would reveal what these CIA agents did. No, Waterboarded the mastermind of 9-11, they would be heroes in the eyes of the American people. 65% of the American President people, the American people, 65 of American people support coerced interrogation under extraordinary circumstances. And that's what we should have, Janice. The law should be rewritten to say that under extraordinary circumstances, with a signed order by the President of the United States, these techniques may be employed. That's how the law, would you object to that law if it were written that way? You know what? Possibly. I think that there's a lot of the intelligence community that we don't know. And to use the example of my son or my daughter, I want my son and my daughter back. I don't want to know how you brought them back. I want them back for sure. There so please do not misunderstand yeah, my not supporting torture with not letting the CIA I think do we what can, they do best, nation, which is gather intelligence. As a nation, we can draw better laws. Andrea, I guess the last word. I'm just baffled by the left. They put a lot of faith in government, Bill, but it's sad to see them distrust the CIA. But they always have. I know they have. They, they think the CIA have. is they evil. They don't These like authoritarian, authoritarian 
I agree, but you know what? It's reckless. It's disingenuous. Americans will be killed over this, and the president is acting like a child.